Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I wanted to do a reading on this um, next full moon, which is going to be in Libra, okay? And it's called the Pink Moon, all right? Um, so I just want to check the energy. I've been doing some reading up on it. You guys know I'm not an astrologer, right? But I do read about these things. And um i've got kind of a theory of my own here okay so anyway this reading is for the collective it may not resonate with all of you okay so just take what resonates leave the rest right don't try to force it and thank you so much everyone for all of your support oh you guys are so good to me out here and you're good to me every day and it's always consistent and i can't tell you how grateful i am for that seriously Thank you so, so much um, just for being nice, okay? Thanks for being nice today, guys. I, and no, if nobody's told you this so far today, I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Um, okay, so the, the, pink, the pink moon, right, which is coming up on um, April 6th, all right? So right now, we're already kind of starting to pick up on that energy, okay? I usually feel that energy from the full moons for about four days, a couple of days beforehand and a couple of days after. Like I can tell when there's gonna be a shift in the energy, all right? And we're hitting that time now. And it's weird because I picked up on the date um, April 4th, there's something very significant about that date, okay? Not only is it repetitive divine numbers here and signifies change, like there's a big divine change coming. Um, I've been picking up on the 3D and the 5D merging together, okay, for a huge shift, all right? Um, but anyway, I am holding a prayer event that day where you, you pray on your own, right? I'm not going to be doing special readings for it or anything. It's just a moment of prayer um, on April 4th at 8 a.m. for eight minutes at least. I'll probably pray for like a half hour and at 8 p.m. for eight minutes, okay? Talk to God about whatever you want. Ask for protection. I feel like that's a big one. Right now, there are people out there that are still doing spell work, okay? Why? The readers can't figure out why do they keep doing this because it's all coming back on them. And some of it is coming back on them threefold. So um, they're getting hit with karma and they're still desperately sending out that energy. So I feel like you're supposed to be protecting yourselves. Um, some of the spells that that these people are doing um, take days to prepare. So there's something about this pink full moon I feel like you need to be, um, you need to be prepared for as far as protecting your energy, okay? Um, yeah, so anyway, if you want, join the prayer event, okay, on April 4th, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Um, but another thing that I picked up on around this energy here, this pink pink full moon right the pink moon um on april 6th is when it's coming up okay um that venus is going to be in taurus and mars is going to be in cancer okay those are the two things that popped out at me when i was doing my reading now when we're talking about your connection okay venus to me is divine feminine energy mars to me is divine masculine energy okay if the divine feminine is going to be picking up on the Taurus qualities at the time, you're going to be determined. You're going to be headstrong. You're going to be um, very, very grounded. Like any decisions you've made about anyone or anything from the last cycle, you're standing firm in, okay? Um, they're showing me the strength card in my third eye, okay? So, yeah, you're... you're you're standing firm in your boundaries. You know the truth. Um, and uh, yeah, you're standing up for yourself. And you're determined to move forward and move on. Now, when I say determined, that means there's still, there's still things that are tugging on your heartstrings, Divine Feminine. I'm not going to lie, right? 
There's things that are tugging on your heartstrings about leaving certain people or, or situations in the past. You're moving forward, and a lot of you are doing it alone. Um, there's some. There's a little bit of fear of the unknown there, and there's a there's a little bit of. Um, I feel like these are these are people and situations that you didn't want to leave behind. Okay, so you could be having a difficult time doing that, like um, trying not to think of a particular person or yeah, distracting yourselves, right? So that you can like put on some happy music that you dance around to or something like that. You know, I feel like there's still things that you're gonna have to really work on as far as truly releasing and detaching but you you have the determination and the drive to do it and you remain grounded and stable okay to me taurus is like a big rock all right um and a lot of times taurus i i feel like taurus is one of the most stubborn signs in the zodiac all right so you're not budging you are not gonna budge you've got your boundaries up um, you've got a wall up against the past. You're just trying to shake the rest of that energy off and determine to keep moving forward, okay? Very firm in your decisions here around this full moon. Um, and with Mars being in Cancer, Cancer is, is probably the most, um, I don't want to say it's emotional, but, um, there's something about cancers that uh, it, it's like that that energy reaches deep in within you and it stirs up emotions you know um it uh emotions are your guide okay you have to understand your intuition and the messages you get are your directions but your emotions help you to navigate through everything okay so there's masculines right mars for divine masculines, there's masculines that are going to be waking up, um, maybe accepting um, a more feminine side, right? Getting that duality. Um, be, you're getting the duality of a very strong emperor kind of energy, and the masculines are starting to adopt that feminine energy, okay? And um, yeah, I feel like they're looking at their emotions. They're going to be looking at their emotions um, accepting how they feel, okay? Um, it's going to be an emotional time because things are coming to an end point. So cycles are ending, okay? Um, so they could be having some emotional outbursts, uh, some breakups, okay? Um, I'm feeling that energy going on. So this is where the Divine Masculine truly takes a look at how they really feel about things. And it's about time because honestly without those emotions there's no navigation okay they can't navigate they're not listening to how the how they're feeling I feel like some of these masculines are even to the point where they're getting health issues um, because of all of this right um, so this is the time where they start looking at their emotions and start letting those emotions navigate them. And it's going to come out in very, um, like, emotional outbursts, okay? They could be having hissy fits and crying fits and starting to cry at any point in time. Um, any breakups are going to be very emotional and explosive at this time, okay? So... I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional chaos going on for the masculines and a lot of show of strength and taking your your power and control back for the feminines, okay? Does that make sense? That's kind of the energy that we're in right now, backed by a lot of, I feel like on both masculines and feminine energies are going to be needing to take some time to um, rest, rejuvenate, and remain grounded, okay? Something about, yeah, pulling someone back to reality, okay? I feel like, especially for the masculines, I feel like the feminines, um, you got, uh, the feminines have learned so many lessons that you've already got a strong sense of being grounded already. You know what it is that you want. You know what directions you're taking, okay? Um, it's all really about the final release here. So 
um, you're doing all that you can to move on. But the masculines, though, they're way behind you on that, okay? They haven't been doing their work, and this is where, this is that um, overflow. There's just going to be, like, intense emotions within the masculine, okay? Intense. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of how I'm seeing this pink moon energy, okay? <laughs> Um, and pink, it's got nothing to do with the color. I read up on that, too. It's about a flower that blossoms. That's another thing, too. Thank you, Divine. It's a flower that blossoms, a pink flower that blossoms during this full moon time. And I feel like that's the Divine Feminine blossoming into, um, number one, your new cycle, and number two, um, that... Um, it's like a melding between the feminine energy and the masculine energy, right? Because you're adopting, but you're in both, both emperor and empress energy right now. And I feel like that's just becoming solidified. It's, it's, it's making you blossom into a whole new person, okay? A whole new cycle. And with the masculine, I feel like with that blossoming, everything is opening up for the masculine, okay? Um they're feeling everything they're looking at their emotions okay which is hard for a person to do so yeah yeah and that's kind of what this is this is this hissy fit that i was talking about right um emotionally like having a really hard time accepting maybe that there's a feminine that's gone you you were the blessing in this person's life they're going to be realizing a lot about this connection as well because they're allowing their emotions to be their navigator right now. Um, so, yeah, this masculine is definitely going to have to get grounded. Otherwise, I feel like um, it, that emotion is going to be very explosive. You see how they're sitting under this tree? They're just planted, right? I feel like they need that energy. They may... Um, isolate themselves because at this time like i said it's going to be emotionally explosive for the masculines um they could explode on a lot of people you know they could they could lash out um they they're going to be losing their temper tempers are going to flare um tears are going to are going to be pouring out you know um yeah all of that emotion has come to the surface I've been talking about it simmering and bubbling over the edge for a while now. It's been a few weeks at least. So, yeah, that's and they're looking back. They're going to be looking back on all of these empty cups, the things that they had paid attention to in their past um, that didn't work out, you know, um, the, maybe the way they were under some kind of illusion that it was real love and it didn't work out. You know, they're going to be looking back on their past and past relationships, okay? Not just yours, but others. And um, I feel like they're going to realize that they missed out on a blessing here. You were the one that could have healed them from this heartache, you know? I feel like, too, since you're grounded, you're stable, you have direction, this person's going to feel like they really need you right now. Okay, Divine Feminine? This masculine, they're going to be thinking about you and feeling like they need you. They need that feeling of stability. See, now it's like there's that shift, right? Now they're adopting more of a feminine side, and you're taking the role more of the emperor, do you see what I'm saying? So there's that shift that we're going through, okay? Um, and I feel like this person knows, though, that you have control over your life and you have control over your emotions, you know? And at this point in time, they do not. They don't, you know? And they're pouty over it. They're upset over it because the one person who does have control over herself isn't having anything to do with this person now look at how you're looking away because you see this person as i feel like i want to say baby head <laughs> i don't know why you see this person is not being strong enough and thank you divine not being strong enough to do anything about their situation that's how you view this person um, I feel like at one point they thought of you as being weak. I feel like they saw your kindness, 
your spiritual side. They saw um, your willingness to love this person with all that you had in you. They saw all of that as a weakness. They're coming to realize you were the one who was the strongest link here. This is the warrior queen. And now look at them. They're having a hard time. They're having a really hard time. They're, they're feeling fairly weak during this full moon energy because all of these emotions are, they're having to take a look at them all at once. Okay? So now they're falling more into their emotional feminine side and you're taking that control of the emperor, right? Of that masculine side. I'm telling you, it's, a, it's an enormous flip-flop, okay? <laughs> Yeah, this person, I feel like this masculine, they're not going to want to have anything to do with anybody else but you. That's it. They're not going to want to have anything to do with anyone else but you because you've made it through the cycle, because you've learned your lessons, because you're a pro at this, okay, Divine Feminine Energy. You're a pro at this and you're moving on. You're the empress. You're every queen in the deck. It took you a long time and a lot of effort to learn every queen in the deck. Okay? And you're looking away from this person. I feel like you're moving forward here. You're leveling up. You've made it. You're very knowledgeable. This to me stands for knowledge and experience knowledge and experience that this masculine doesn't have yet because they're just now accepting their emotions okay so they don't want to talk to anybody else around them people are going to be asking them what is wrong with you man because they really are like lashing out at everybody they're going to be losing control of their emotions during this time for about the next week okay for about the next week it's going to be an emotional mess. I can't wait to see what the messages are going to look like in tarot land, you guys, seriously. <laughs> you know, it's going to be kind of crazy because the masculines are going to be, they're not going to be able to get a handle and control of their emotions. It's going to be explosive. I kid you not. They're not one of, they're, I feel like a lot of people are going to be asking them, what the heck is wrong with you? And this person is just, they're going to stand up and defend themselves and blow up and then go sit under a tree somewhere to try to get grounded again, okay? They're going to have these emotional bursts, anger, sadness, rage, fear. They're going to be feeling all of it uncontrollably. Things that they've kept pent up for years, you guys. It's all going to be bubbling to the surface now. So, yeah, they're not going to want to answer anybody's questions. They don't want to talk to anybody, okay? They don't want to talk to anybody. They're having a very hard time understanding this, and I feel like this person's going to be doing all that they can to try to keep it all hidden. Like, they don't want people around them to know what they're going through, okay? Because they don't even understand it. But I feel like, um, yeah, this is, this is the divine telling this person it's time that you take a look at everything. It's time that you come out with how you feel. It's time that these emotions are looked at and accepted and dealt with. And, um, yeah, they, this is part of their lesson, too. The divine is saying, this is where you start your lesson. And this is why the masculine just wants to come to you, Empress. It's because you've already, you're so far ahead of this person. You are. Um, you already know what they're going through. This almost feels like dark night of the soul, where they have to look at themselves and how they feel. You know, and um, yeah, it's like it's a it's a big mystery here to this person. And they're trying to keep how they feel hidden from other people. They don't want to tell people what they're going through. They could even start, um, you know, this is the divine saying, sit down, do your homework. It's time here that you take a look at everything. OK. Um, and all of a sudden they sit down to do some homework. This is somebody um, learning right? 
learning and studying. And I feel like what they're studying is this connection. How did you make it through? Where do I start? That's what they're saying here. Where do I start? How did the collective start? How did the divine feminine start on their journey? Because they made it through. This is somebody now who's doing their, um, their homework on the twin flame soulmate connection. Um, maybe looking back on things to see how, uh, how you progress through it. Because remember, they only want to talk to you, divine feminine, because you're the one who's got the knowledge. And knowledge is power. You're the only one that they can think of going to about this. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like um, they're studying this. They're studying all of this, all right? It's time for this person to do their work. It's time for them to reach down in deep inside and heal and learn and um, figure out where everything went wrong in their life. I mean, they, you know... They're, this is it. This is go time here. Yeah, they need to learn. They need to, and they need to realize. Um, I feel like how the situation that they were in, what it's done to them. Okay, I feel like they are. They're very already very burdened by this toxic situation because I, I'm telling you, it. They could even be at some kind of event where there's a lot, like a group of people that they're around. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing a major event here, but I'm just seeing like a lot of questions coming at this person from a lot of different people, especially the toxic individual that they're currently with. And the divine is out here urging this person, this situation's under judgment, um, urging them to break free from this, drop the burdens of this um, devil energy here fast, speak their truth. It's time. It's time for this person to speak their truth. And there's a karmic individual here who's waiting to hear it. Yeah, I feel like um, it's going to go down. Something's, cause something is about to pop off here <laughs> uh, in a toxic situation. I feel like this is something that your person has tried to put off and they can't anymore. I'm telling you, um, it's too emotional. This person is now, you, those emotions, now that they're out into the open, that's going to be the navigation. If this person doesn't feel right about being in a toxic situation, they're going to listen to those feelings. They're going to listen to their intuition, and they're going to end up speaking their truth. But they're already in a bad mood. It's very emotional. Here's that anger. Here's that sadness, the poutiness. Here's them just not wanting to deal with anybody. You know what? They're going to lash out. I'm telling you, they're going to completely go off on this karmic partner. Okay? They are going to tell the truth. But this karmic individual that they've been with has, uh, has been wanting the truth. But these two are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, okay? Um, yeah, this person's, I feel like they're no longer going to hide things. They're being told to come out with it now. And they are. Somebody could tell someone else that they want a divorce as well. If these two are committed in a commitment. You could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aquarius. I've got Capricorn energy out here, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, you could be um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus. All right, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go off during this pink full uh, this. I want to say the pink full moon, the full moon in Libra, and. Um, April 6th, that's when it is, but we're in this energy. I'm feeling like it's just the energy's just starting now. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, so what else can you show me here? I feel like these two are going to fight about you as well, but this is a toxic situation that's coming to an end. The divine is, they're calling it right here, judgment. You got to speak your truth. It's over, pal. Um, they could have been in this situation uh, for uh, six to seven years, 
but this person is telling this um, this um, karmic here, this Queen of Swords energy, they're telling them, you know, I don't want to work on this anymore. I don't want to invest in this anymore. I want a new beginning. You know, I want I want to start something new here. It's going to be very heartbreaking. Okay, it really is. This is a lot of emotion. I feel like it's a fight that goes down. I feel like this karmic individual feels betrayed. There's going to be heartache. There's going to be a lot of harsh communication, angry communication, toxic, um, a lot of defensiveness, a lot of heavy like tears, emotions. It's gonna, it's going to just go off, okay, during this pink moon, uh, because this person is just tired. They're tired of investing into something that they know they don't want anymore okay what is this page of wands energy doing here show me this page of wands somebody could be finding out that they have an std and then they are going to just go off yeah i feel like um honestly i feel like somebody finds out they have an std i have to say uh, that's not going to be for all of you. It feels like a side note. Um, they're going to feel very betrayed. Once again, another fight. A lot of emotion. A lot of anger. Um, yeah, I'm getting the feeling like a lot of yeah bad health between both of them. Yeah, somebody's finding out that they got an STD here. Yep. Bad health, low on money, a man. I feel like it could be something that they're trying to keep a secret as well. Secrets could be exposed here. Um, I feel like it was some kind of secret or they don't want anybody else to know. Okay, yeah, look, I feel like, and this is something that they may never be able to get rid of as well, okay? This is something that's going to hold on. There could be some kind of trauma bond here as well between the two. Um, somebody isn't going to want to let go. I, I feel like that hand is going to be forced here, okay? There's a lot that could happen. Somebody could get kicked out of a home. Someone's finding out about um, an STD, possibly getting kicked out of a home. The police may even be need to be called in. This is authority here with the King of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like I had something, something, this is a mess. It's going to be a big emotional outburst of crazy, okay, <laughs> during this pink moon. <coughs> Someone could even have a new soulmate connection here. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody else maybe met someone new and is spreading some kind of disease, I have to say. And I feel like, yeah, look, this whoever this person is, they're going to be in a lot of regret. They're going to feel like such an idiot, okay? They are. They're going to feel like a complete fool because they know that you are their match. The one that they left behind, their divine feminine energy, leaving behind with all of this, leaving them behind with all of this knowledge, right? Um, uh, yeah, and you're nowhere near this mess going on here. This person, oh my gosh, they feel so dumb. They feel like a complete fool. They feel like a complete fool. Yeah. They, I feel like they stayed in a toxic situation for too long. Judgment comes in, tells them, you know, the divine comes in and says, look, it's, it's time to tell the truth. But they also, judgment is having things exposed. This person's finding, somebody here is finding out they've got an STD. On top of all of the crazy emotions they're feeling, they've got an STD. Yeah, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pop off, man, during this pink moon. I'm telling you. All right, so give me just a couple more. My battery, I think, is about to die, guys, so I'm trying to hurry. 
Give me just a couple more. Ooh, that's too many. Yeah, look, all they can think about is you. If only, what can I do to turn this around? Uh, you may not be talking to this person anymore and they're afraid to approach you because of all that they put you through. I feel like, um, yeah, this person has lied here. They kept you sitting here waiting while they were trying to decide between you and somebody else. You haven't been speaking to this person. There's been no communication. But man, they would do anything to turn this around because this person knows that you are their wish fulfillment. They're wishing here. They're wishing, they're manifesting. They're trying to find a way to get this back. Okay? Meanwhile, all they're doing is there's just a giant fight and chaos and strife and emotional outbursts um, going on in the next four days to a week. Okay? Yeah. They stayed in a toxic situation for too long. I feel like you are this per, all this person wants to do is apologize to their star. <sighs> That's all they want to do. I feel like you're in the public eye, um, a healer, a teacher, a spiritual teacher, um, whatever you're doing. And it could just be posting things on the internet, right? You're looking beautiful, more beautiful than you ever have before. Um, you're glowing, you're peaceful, you're calm, you're serene, and all of a sudden I feel like this person shows up with an apology. So in the next week, I feel like you're going to get an apology, but this person, in no way are they ready to, to come really come forward yet. Um, they're going to have to leave all this chaos and, and toxicity behind, and they may be speaking their truth, and ending a situation, but in no way, shape, or form is that toxicity cleared yet, okay? They need to clear everything out before this person starts any kind of thing new with an empress. Yeah. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this pink moon energy. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Oh, yeah, and I've got you possibly as an, um, an Aquarius, maybe. Just want to call out some signs quick. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, what all did I say? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. A lot of Virgo energy for this person here that you're dealing with. Um, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I have. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.